Hello friends, good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. In today's session, we would be looking at some very important interview questions that are asked to an SAP PP consultant, which is production planning technical consultant, right? And we would also be looking at some general business expectations from the same, that is an SAP production planning consultant, right? And how do we answer these questions in interview? So these questions are of basic nature and these have been collected from different real time PP consultants, right? So now let us go into it and understand the questions. Now, before we do this, let us look at what is the role of an SAP PP consultant, right? It is initially to plan and execute the day-to-day -day activities of IT advisory engagements, right? Like anything specific to production planning. And it is also to lead the SAP business process mapping and to evaluate the design and effectiveness of technology controls throughout the business cycle, right? And to identify or, kind, or communicate any kind of findings to maintain the necessary documentation to configure any kind of software of uh, you know of pertaining to business requirements or you know driving the development of functional and system specifications you also got to assess business and application requirements so these are the various responsibilities of an sap pp consultant right so now when you look at the questions that are asked in interview or for this kind of a framework then let us take a look at a few right so to begin with we have explained what is pp so this question would ju would just be talking of what exactly plan plan and production is right so it is related to uh, the production planning of any organization and it includes many activities like mrp which is material required planning bom bills of material routing capacity planning etc but this module is divided into two segments one which is material planning and the other which is execution planning now material planning is the material requirements planning right now this is a long-term plan but if you're talking of an execution planning, it is the creation of production order, workflow, confirmations, technical completions and goods movement, right? So basically material planning is either when you require materials or you're making a long term plan. And if it is execution plan, then it is, you know, the production order or, you know, the workflow confirmation like we've just mentioned. Then what are the different costing parameters in SAP PP? So there are two costing parameters like one of them is work center wherein you have all the activity or uh, activity types and the formulas for the respective cost centers or however you routed this and then you have the routing where is wherein here you have the time and you know the kind of activity so it is the work center and the routing what are the production processes in sap right so here we have three kinds of production processes which is discrete manufacturing repetitive manufacturing and production process industries okay the next is what is routing process under production planning so okay basically routine defines the list of activities to be performed for any you know production process which are cyclic in nature right so these are never to be exhausted and they keep happening after one after another one after another and this defines the sequence of activities which are performed at any work center right so this process which is the routing it plays a very important role in calculating the production cost machine time and you know the, the labor time and many other parameters for an efficient functioning of any organization the next is explain the production planning life cycle all right, to begin with, the first is converting planned order to production order. And here what you do is you're just converting nothing else. And then you have the issue, which is you have to issue the production order, right? Once you have converted the plant to production order, it is now to be issued. And to start this process, you have to, you know, issue the production order. It is required. So till a production order is not released, the, uh, the execution or the actual happening of production would not begin, right? After this, you have issuing goods for production order. Now, issuing goods is also required for providing the goods to be executed for the production to begin, right? And once these are issued, then the document number can be updated for the same in the system. After the issuance is done, you next have the production order confirmation. 
that is you know now you have created all the sub processes in accordance with the required operation and now this is to be confirmed and finally you have goods received with respect to the production order that is once the production order execution is totally done the cycle is complete then the goods produced with respect to the production order are received and they are placed in a storage area so finally right from planning of an order to its production and storage is all a part of production planning life cycle right then you have what are the different master data which exist under production planning it is the bill of materials which is bom you have material master you have work center routing all these are nothing but the master data which exists under the production planning what is back flushing in repetitive manufacturing or you know rem so this is used to record the work process in the system and to get the requirements of repetitive mass or flow manufacturing right so in here you basically get the requirements which are of repetitive nature or which are of you know mass man which are, are are of huge quantity like you know mass manufacturing that's what ba back flushing in repetitive manufacturing means when you perform goods receipt under pp what is the movement type so goods receipt is performed when material is produced as per production order right till then the goods receipt is not generally done and if goods are placed at any storage location as well so the stock quantity is increased and the movement type 101 is entered so this is what it is so let's understand this once again when do you perform goods receipt under planning production and what is this movement type so basically goods receipt is performed when the material is produced as per production order right so if you are following all the steps in the production order life cycle and once they are placed in the storage cycle then a goods receipt is finally produced and the movement type is 101 how do you check if any work center is overloaded right so this is one of the very crucial segments of an sap pp consultant so capacity planning is basically done to balance the load at the work center and to calculate the production capacity based on requirement of product as per available capacity which simply means that now if you have a godown and you can only fit 500 units then this would be planned accordingly which is capacity planning now after checking the capacity load on every work center if any of the work center is overloaded then we need to move the orders to a different work center so that is as simple as that now to check if it is overloaded then you go to the t code which is cm01 or you go to the logistics production capacity planning evaluation work center view and then you can check it in the load as to how overloaded or how loaded it is finally we have what is the difference between material and sales order bill of material so material bom and sales order bom so talking of material bom so when a BOM is created for any material that is known right it is a material BOM in SAP now these are mainly used to represent the structure of products manufactured within your company but if you're talking of sales order BOM which is sales order bill of material then you are you know you're tailoring this according to the orders that you have been rendered or that you know the orders that you've been given as per the requirement of the customer so this is very specific and this is to meet the customer requirements wherein you make the sale as per what is demanded right so there is a difference between bom of material and sales order and this is what it is so i hope you have enjoyed today's session and found this of some use do share and subscribe if you are really found this useful Thank you have a great day and stay tuned to Tech Tablet for many more videos yet to be released and a lot of knowledge yet to be exchanged between us you have a great day